Prince Harry simply become a moaning mini that people now really do not want to have in their presence. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. How are you? Nice to see you today. By the way, as you know, it's Wimbledon over here in the United Kingdom right now. It's going really well. Well, apart from the bad weather, of course. Do you remember Wimbledon? Did you watch it in your parts of the world? Because it's such a big tennis event, isn't it? I do remember, and I genuinely mean this being very young, and uh, seeing Virginia Wade on the Silver Jubilee year winning, uh, you know, Wimbledon uh, ladies tennis. And I thought, marvellous. And it was just nice, really. You know, I think it was probably the first time that I recollect seeing Her Majesty the Queen, uh, you know, sort of more relaxed and animated. And, you know, she was really thrilled for Virginia. Big moment. And do you remember she had that pink cardigan on? It's funny, isn't it, how you remember the, the bowl and the colour of what she was wearing. By the way, on that particular year, not that year, the Silver Jubilee, but in 1975, Arthur Ashe was the first person of colour, a black man, as they reported at the time, to win Wimbledon. What a great talent he was. Did you remember him? Great talent. There were some good people, weren't there? Jimmy Connors, do you remember him? Yes, mm, I know. Some big names of Wimbledon. Back as ever to your breaking world story of the day. Now, as we know, Prince Harry really uh, is a big fan of therapy. In fact, he charged people to watch him being interviewed by someone uh, to help promote his book, having a free therapy session. He said that all members of the British monarchy really should uh, open the door to therapy because it's free and it's, you know, whatever. Now, I'm not knocking it, you know, I've never had it myself. My motto is turn the radio up a good pot of tea and give yourself a strong talking to. Other people need more. I totally agree. But the bottom line really with this now is as we saw when Prince Harry returned back here for the coronation that he really did seem to want to unveil and unload and tell his problems to anybody who was willing to listen. Lip readers pointed that out as he was sat in the benches while awaiting the arrival of his father the king for his major coronation. But what's interesting now as we now know is he didn't turn up for his best man's wedding Jack Mann. And the reason behind this apparently is, oh, well, you know, he couldn't because of whatever. Here's the true facts behind it, right? He couldn't really turn up because it means he's using some of his very much valued days about coming into London, into the United Kingdom, which are tax problems, you know? He has to return back for some of the court cases. So naturally, obviously, that's more important than his one's close friend, allegedly. And the other side of the coin is simply this, that, you know, I've been told by good sources close to previous friends of Harry that actually they're quite happy to keep a bit of a distance away from him because he just really wants to talk about the problems that he's incurred since quitting the British monarchy, you know. Therapy speak, as they actually phrased it, um, and he's something that he pushes hard. Let's not forget he's supposed to be the chief impact officer uh, for better up something to do with mental health and all that stuff. So clearly he's trying to either look for business or make sure that they know it's the reason why he is. So while everybody's been basically saying, well, he's fallen out with his previous friends, they've cut away from him, according to a very good source, and as ever, I have to say allegedly, because they see him as a bit of a prize bore who talks about nothing but Meghan and the problems that they have. They still want to talk about life in general and how they've moved on. But clearly, it's something that Prince Harry hasn't. So far from snubbing his former friend, I would say they could possibly be slightly relieved, and as ever, allegedly. But whichever way you look at it, Harry will be back to continue his fight in his father's royal courts against the British media. Seemingly, he's got time for that. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.